Alrighty guys, so EA Sports UFC 4 just dropped two new fighters. Um, Dracus Duplessis and this guy, Khalil Roundtree. Khalil is actually the one that I was more surprised about, to be honest. Um, I've known this guy ever since he was on The Ultimate Fighter with, um, I think that was a season with Ronda Rousey. They're going against Misha, Misha Tate, I think. Could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But Khalil Roundtree, man, he is he is one of those guys where um, that dude has like all the potential in the world. To be honest, um, if when that dude trusts his fighting ability, he is a tough guy to fight. Look at this. Hold on. Um, let's look at his stats. So he's got fast hands. Razor wire, out of the gates, crazy legs. <laughs> he's, ver he's very well known for his leg kicks. If you haven't watched his fight against Eric Anders, uh, go watch that fight. He That was the true definition of a Muay Thai display. That was, that was a masterpiece that he had in that fight. Look at this, 92 for punch speed. He has some crazy power, man. That power could compete against just about anyone in this division. And look at this, right? I mean, head movement's not the greatest. Blocking accuracy, not the greatest. Um, but look at this. Kick power, 97 in a kick speed of 94. This man's kicks are going to be lethal. They, whenever I use this guy, really when anyone uses him, expect a lot of leg kicks. Okay, so grappling... He's just not a grappler, you know. Uh, it's really nothing impressive when it comes to the ground, except maybe his ground striking. That's pretty decent. 93. Everything else, just not good. His health stats, too. I mean, he's got a, he's got a decent chin. He's got pretty good legs. Um, but that cardio and his recovery, eesh. You get rocked, man. Uh, it might be pretty hard to come back. But, I mean, look at this, right? Leg kick, no surprise there, five star. Um, yeah, that's really it for his stats. I'm gonna hop in, I'm gonna try to find a uh, fighting quick match real quick, because right now it's lightweight and featherweight division and ranked, so uh, I don't feel like waiting for a few hours for light heavyweight division to open up. Yeah, I was, um, are you going Izzy? Okay. You know, I, uh, I was recording earlier because it's a brand new season. I was doing my placement matches and essentially my face cam, uh, recording in the background. When I hit like stop to stop the video, my laptop completely just like I don't know it had like a like a stroke or something so like all that footage for my uh, webcam it's just gone it's unusable it's corrupt so I was kind of upset about that ah, I miss okay Lille is also a southpaw, so uh, it's gonna be a little different because I'm usually fighting orthodox. Oh, and uh, Lille also doesn't have a front kick to the face that I like to use, so that's kind of unfortunate as well. Does have a foot the lead leg stomp though. Ooh, got him rocked already. It also has that switch kick to the body. Does he have elbows? I think he does. Yeah, he has a lead elbow. And a rear. Timing, my opponent. Oh, 
really gonna try to find a home for these leg kicks. It's gonna be kind of hard though against a guy like Izzy. Oh, God. Rocked him again, huh? I thought I was gonna be out of range, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Leal definitely has power, man. I know I was gonna. I know I said I was gonna focus on leg kicks, but the head strikes are what's doing the best for me. It's what's working, so I'll continue to do so. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. Oh God. Probably survive. Yeah. Uh, no, we'll, we'll let him up. Khalil's not a grappler. He didn't. Izzy would probably be able to jump up, to be honest, to his feet. What? How did that miss? Honestly, the uh, the lighting of this arena it always kind of throws me off. Not gonna lie. Their character models, they just the lighting of this arena just makes them look way different. Time blinded, handicapped. Got him. God, if I had a front kick. Oh, there it is. That's the late kick I'm talking about. All right, go on getting hit by that. He's not committing when I think he's going to commit. Yeah, he's got that one. The oblique as well. Oh, that could have easily rocked me. Ooh, I'm so glad I didn't throw when I wanted there. If I had thrown the leg kick or something at that point, he probably would have knocked me out. I don't know why. Oh, look at this leg health. Let's tear him up. Yep. Haha. <laughs> Now I'm happy. Now I feel like a cool little round tree. Yes! Wow. I don't know how that didn't connect. Okay, let's make him kind of forget about the leg kicks for a little bit. Just a little bit. Never mind. We're gonna finish him with punches. God dang. Okay. I think that was a pretty strong showcase for Khalil. I don't know, should I do one more? I don't wanna to be too long of a video. I might do one. Coming up.
Okay, so my opponent went with uh, Anthony Smith. But as I was saying earlier, Khalil is... In a way, he kind of reminds me of Michael Johnson. He's like the Michael Johnson of the uh, light heavyweight division. In the sense that, like, he has the potential to, to beat really good guys and have really good performances. But... Because... I don't even know... I don't even know the best way to put this. He has beaten guys that on paper should have beat him. You know, Michael Johnson at lightweight, right? You look at Michael Johnson on paper. He, he seems like a guy that has no business, you know, having wins over... You know, like Tony Ferguson, Edson Barbosa, Dustin Poirier, but he does. And, uh, you know, Khalil Roundtree, when you look at his resume, um, you wouldn't think he would be the guy that would knock someone out, someone like uh, Gokan Saki out, right? But he did. Gokan Saki, a like, multiple-time kickboxing champion, came over to MMA, to MMA, and I think they even gave him Khalil Roundtree, as I drop him there. I think they gave him Khalil Roundtree to, like, kind of, like, as, like, a cherry-picked opponent to, like, showcase Gokan's stand-up skill. And Khalil knocked him out in the first round. Khalil's also had a really solid performance, like I said earlier, against Eric Anders, where he really put together his uh, his Muay Thai skill set, and it showed like you know just how good it can be when he actually puts it all together. Hey, right, you're using that movement. Can I use Khalil's? Like kick since I rocked you there already. I'm gonna take out your mobility. I'm telling you, man. Anyone that uses Khalil Roundtree effectively. Yo, not gonna lie, I wonder. I wonder the kind of damage someone like Cryoxis could do with uh, Khalil Roundtree. Because Pry is really good at like, mixing in leg kicks and his combinations, like his timing and whatnot. So I can only imagine the damage he can do with someone like Khalil. Oh yeah, I can't be kicking with that one, buddy. Yeah, Khalil is such a nice guy, man. Like. I like. I would have never thought he would have been added into this game, but I'm glad that they did. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Is this real time clock? I feel like this round's been going on for a while. What a punch! Oh. Front kick. Right kick. Oh, your leg is hurt so bad. The right hand just misses. Start to see some of the damage. Cut underneath that right eye. Man, he's time to shut Oh, nice. gosh. Yep. The leg kicks. I'm going to start working on your right leg now. It's down. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Beautiful. Love it. Trying to establish the oblique and the lake style. Well, so an early lead for him here tonight. He came out of Who is the guy that uh Leo fought and like he basically like tore that that dude's knee apart with like one oblique kick? Wasn't it oblique or was it like a stop? I don't remember. But basically he tore like the dude's 
like ACL, MCL, and PCL on like literally like one knee stop. I don't remember the guy he fought, but like I remember seeing that live and I was like, ooh. Like I felt bad for the guy. But Khalil was on it that night. The legs are done, buddy. I'm gonna try to get him out in the second round. Or not. Or he could just quit. Okay. I guess that does it for the Khalil Roundtree showcase. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, Certainly leaving a like, comment, subscribe to my channel. really helps me out. Help me get to 100 subscribers before the end of the year. I'm like at 60 right now. So I, with your help, I can do it, okay? Help me get to 100 subscribers. I appreciate all of you. See y'all in the next one.